Meanwhile, tonight, our other big story takes us to DuPont Circle, a lighting remembrance, candles, and standing in solidarity with the LGBTQ plus community. Tonight's candlelight vigil was sparked by that mass shooting on the other side of the country. But the pain and the fear and hope shared in D.C. tonight are universal. Before we hear from the crowd, here are four things to know about the club shooting in Colorado Springs. Today, we learned the names and saw the faces of the five victims who were gunned down during a drag performance at Club Q. We now know at least two people helped subdue that gunman. A U.S. Army veteran helped. He was there with his wife and daughter. The suspected gunman now faces five charges of first-degree murder. Those are preliminary charges. More are expected. And they could include federal charges today. The Department of Justice says it's looking into its role that it may play in the case. Local LGBTQ advocates are standing in solidarity with the victims of the Club Q shooting in Colorado. Yeah, tonight organizers held this candlelight vigil at DuPont Circle to honor the lives lost and echo familiar calls for gun control. News for Walter Morris is in Northwest D.C. with their message. It's not new. This is not a new feeling. We've experienced this before. We're just lucky. Days after the deadly shooting inside a Colorado Springs nightclub, members of DC's LGBTQ community coming together. I'm mad. I'm angry. Emotions running high Monday evening. While love is love, hate is hate. Dozens gathering in DuPont Circle, wiping away tears, and holding lights for the five lives lost. As we come together standing on this one thing that we are human and we are still here. Saying prayers for the victims' families and the survivors. Pretty staggering rise in, in anti-LGBT rhetoric. It's scary and it's frustrating and yeah, I'm angry and I'm sad and I'm like scared. The mass shooting at Club Q unfolding more than 1,500 miles away, but for many, the massacre at the LGBTQ establishment hitting too close to home, especially on the eve of Trans Remembrance Day. Saturday night we were all at a bar that was a similar place, so, and we were able to enjoy that space and then we woke up to that news. This candlelight vigil organized by the city, Capital Pride Alliance, Centers for Black Equity, Aqua DC, Trans Latinx Coalition, and the Interfaith Council. We had to. Uh, it was essential. Japer Bowles with the Mayor's Office of LGBTQ Affairs telling News 4, this show of solidarity sends an important message given the diversity here in the district. We have the highest percentage of LGBTQ plus people in the country, uh, like similar shootings and attacks against, and, uh, against our community. We have to stand up, fight back. <laughs> we have to respond. And as the nation learns more about the victims and the heroes who sprang into action, some finding glimmers of hope in this dark moment. I am devastated, but I'm also encouraged by the amount of people that we saw and what we heard today. And there haven't been any reported threats here, but D.C. police say they will have an increased presence at local LGBTQ establishments. In Northwest, Walter Morris, News 4.